Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In New Reincarnation JP, let's do the user survey. This is the first one that I will do for the uh, JP version. I just started an account maybe about 50 days ago. Um, there was one previous uh, global user survey that I did uh, late last year. I'll link to that below. But yeah, I'm happy to see them do a survey. That is a good sign as far as the, uh, the future health of the game. <laughs> I know some people resent me for talking about shutdowns, but I'm not going to uh, pretend that they are not a thing that happens, uh, especially to Square Enix games lately. There's been quite a few shutdowns there. But yeah, this is a good sign for New Reincarnation. Okay, first asks for the, uh, the user ID. I won't share that. Uh, player ID. I'm just Cabbage again. Uh, age, I will not reveal that at this time. And then sex, male. Alright. And then it is asking, uh, what other uh, mobile games do I like? And this might be interesting to look at, not so much for my answers, but which answers they uh, offer. Uh, but let's see, Disney, something Step Wonderland, Dragon Ball Legends, Ensemble Stars Music, Pokemon Go, uh, Nikkei, Fate Grand Order, Dragon Quest Tact, uh, Heaven Burn, Heaven Burns Red, Toatsugai, that's a new one I think, uh, Uma Musume, Tower of Fantasy, Arc Knights, Dragon Ball Z, Dokkan Battle, Puzzles and Dragons, uh, Shironeko, uh, Hochi Shoujo, Project Sekai Colorful Stage, featuring Hatsune Miku, Blue Archive, Memento Mori, Monster Strike, uh, Romancing Saga, Dragon Quest Walk, Genshin, Sino Alice, uh, Major League Baseball Spirits A, Orient Arcadia, One Piece, Treasure Cruise, uh, PUBG, uh, War of the Visions, Grand Blue Fantasy, and One Piece, Bounty Rush. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, it's interesting to look at like which games they included and then which games they did not. Uh, there's no regular FFBE, for example. Uh, but yeah, obviously some games that uh, are out in Japan but not out globally, like uh, Uma Musume. Uh, I don't see any uh, Nyanko, Dai Senso. <laughs> uh, I'll go with War of the Visions and Monster Strike and Dragon Ball Legends, I guess. Okay, next. Uh, this is a same question from before. How many days a week do you play mobile games? I said every day. And then how many hours a day do you play? We'll put three to four. Okay, next it asks, which character is your favorite? That's tough. <laughs> I put Leon last time. But maybe it's kind of changed over time. I'm really thinking about Yuri. I like her a lot. But I'm also considering Demas. Still really like Leon, of course. But I feel like I've been using Demas more. There's also an option for none of the above. I don't know who would choose that. <laughs> okay, we'll go for Demas. Okay, next, it asks, why did you choose that character? Uh, I wrote, it's an interesting kind of new combination of characteristics. Uh, he is an android, but he looks like a zombie, and he's dressed like a cowboy. And then like his um, kind of the, the role that he fills in this game is the, uh, the hunk, the hunky guy. And then I reference uh, Boy's Love here. Uh, there are fans of the game that enjoy the relationship between him and uh, Leon. And uh, yeah, I said I admire the game for uh, releasing a character as weird as Demas. And I am also a fan of hats. Okay, next asks, what about the characters do I like? I just clicked everything. Uh, the character past, uh, their profile... Uh, let's see, relationships between characters, and then the, uh, the four panel uh, manga, and then for my own uh, other, you know, I put fashion and style. 
And then as far as the world, what do you enjoy? I also clicked everything here. Uh, let's see, the story, characters, character design, concept art, the 3D environment, battle system, and music. And then for myself, I uh, put that I enjoy the atmosphere of the game. It's kind of uh, melancholy, but I also feel uh, just kind of like safe within the world of the game. And then it asks uh, what I find the most charming about the game. I put story, character, uh, leveling system, battle system, and the uh, voice acting. I did not click the one that says it gives me a way to play near on a smartphone. That doesn't really factor into it very much for me. I'm just more uh, judging it on its own merits. And then for my own answer, I put uh, this game is different from many other uh, social games. And so to watch it kind of develop and uh, evolve over time is fun. This is me speaking as like an industry watcher. Okay, next it asks me why I chose all of those things. I said I've been playing mobile games for nearly 10 years and they're starting to kind of all feel the same. Uh, but Near Reincarnation is unique in a lot of ways, so it's interesting to watch. And then I'm also a fan of fashion, so to be able to look at uh, everyone's like well-rendered uh, costumes in the powerful uh, 3D viewer is also very cool. All right, and then it asks, uh, let's see, which game contents do I enjoy? Let's see, I'll pick uh, main story and secret story. Uh, there's the memory event. Yeah, that's okay. Get some gems. And then there's the uh, aberration event. Don't enjoy that as much. We get the uh, the weapons, but not as many gems. <laughs> uh, dungeons, no. Tower, yes. Fate board, yes. Uh, character quest, no. Dark memory quest, no. Uh, Recollections of Dusk, yes. Subjugations, no. Arena, no. Uh, explorations, no. Uh, changing costumes, yes. 3D viewer, yes. <laughs> okay, next, ask me why I chose those game modes. Um, I said I like PvE, high difficulty PvE. And then I'm especially happy if I can use characters I don't use, usually. And I also enjoy the uh, challenge quests where they kind of flip the element and make you use different characters. Okay, next it asks, what was the most difficult uh, content that you've ever played? And then they have like main story, event quests, tower, fate board. I'm gonna pick subjugations because I feel like I'm not good at it. And then it asks like, what is difficult? Or like, what do you do in order to uh, beat it? So we'll click uh, character leveling, weapon leveling, uh, memory leveling, that's not so big of a deal. Uh, kind of messing with your teams and then messing with your uh, play strategy. All right, and then it asks, uh, why did you choose all those things for subjugations? And I said that the most difficult part was the uh, kind of the technique, you know, the strategy of going through. And then also I don't like playing the same content over and over again, so that's why it's difficult for me. <laughs> All right, and then ask for the second most difficult. I put uh, challenge quest. And then here I just put uh, change your teams or change your uh, strategy. But um, this one I feel like is difficult in a good way. It's like challenging and fun. And I say that here. It's difficult, but I don't uh, struggle. I like this kind of content. Then I asked for the third most difficult. <laughs> I put tower, and then I put basically the same answers as uh, challenge quests. I say that the most difficult part is the uh, are the missions, but if I change my party, then I can uh, get most of them. Okay, then it asks, what part of the, or what parts of the game would you like us to improve? Max three choices. Uh, there's main story, secret story, uh, record, event quests, aberration event quests, 
uh, dungeon, tower, character quest, dark memory, recollections of dusk, subjugations, arena, exploration, uh, changing the clothes, 3D viewer. We'll put changing of the clothes. I have a request there. <laughs> uh, what else? Slabs, awakening, and costume bonus. Uh, we'll do 3D viewer and changing the clothes. I've kind of given up on generic awakening stones. <laughs> Okay, then it asks what I would like to uh, change about the 3D viewer, or uh, changing clothes. I think I said this in the last uh, survey, but being able to like arrange the clothes, you know? I uh, brought up Bloodless uh, Noel before, I'll bring it up here. But being able to take off the coat of that costume, that would be awesome. I wish we could do that. Alright, then it asks how I felt about the uh, second anniversary kind of overall. I said, satisfied. They asked why I chose that. I'm talking about the uh, the live stream here, but it was interesting, and there were nice guests, and I enjoyed the um, the uh, the voice actor performance. And I'll link to that too, my uh, translation of that. Okay, then it asks which uh, like campaigns I liked or events campaigns I liked during the uh, second anniversary. So like I see like memory drop up. I'll check the arena ranking mission. That was kind of fun. Kind of surprised myself getting one, you know, getting the, uh, the black pearls, but that was cool. Uh, the free pulls, of course, is very nice. Uh, the return of the challenge quests. Uh, Mama's exciting festival. I did pull that. And then uh, Gale's fate board, not fate board, uh, recollections of dusk. And then what else we got? Oracle cards. Uh, the addition of Quest 5 of Subjugations. The Fate Board. I liked the uh, Fate Board, actually. So let's unclick the free pulls. And then pick Fate Board. All right. All right, then it asks why I chose those. And uh, let's see, I say I always look forward to the next Recollections of Dusk. And then the new Fate Board quests were fun. All right, then it asks how I found out about the second anniversary event. I clicked the Twitter account and then the in-game news. And then it asks how satisfied I am with the Fate Board. I put pretty satisfied. And then it asked me uh, what I liked about it. Uh, let's see, that, um, what is it? Like if you build for an element, you get uh, bonuses. That was okay, that was kind of cool. Uh, let's see, seeing your progress on the screen is fun. And then it's high difficulty and then nice rewards. I clicked all of that. And then it asks like what I would like to have improved about the uh, Fate Board quests. I said, nothing really, it's fun. And it does look like that they're going to continue with the pace, where they just release them one after another with no gap in between. So I'm happy about that. Uh, next, it asks, how do you feel about the uh, the level limit break? I said, somewhat disappointed. I don't have any issue with the Fate Board uh, quests, but like the rewards for that, uh, limit break in your characters, less than satisfied. And it asks me why. And I say it only raises the stats, so it's not that exciting. Uh, there are no new skills, or like skills don't get better uh, multipliers or something. And I prefer Awakening, because that's more fun. They get more skills, or they get uh, debris. And then it asks how they could fix uh, the, uh, the level limit break. I say that if it keeps up, it's just pure stats, then I'm going to choose, you know, the meta characters. Uh, but if they... Uh, made like niche characters more interesting with like a different skills that would make it more interesting for me And then I said pretty much the same thing for the other uh, weapon uh, Level limit break just changes the stats. So it's not that interesting and then in ways to improve I said like if they could get like the very old like uh, launch weapons and then give them new skills or better multipliers That would be more interesting 
Okay, then it asks about the uh, the subjugations um, event, you know, it lasted for a week, so you can get the highest score. If you are satisfied or unsatisfied, I said neither. And I said, because I didn't really play that hard, um, I put neither. But I'm happy for the players that did enjoy it. Okay, then it asks, did I see the live stream on this uh, Mirror Teve? Uh, service, I said no, because I didn't know about it. And then it says, what would you like uh, covered as far as like uh, play in a, a similar event? I said maybe how to uh, play subjugations at a high level. All right, then it asks, what uh, handouts, what rewards did you like? I'll put gems. Don't care about the uh, level limit break stuff. Uh, lavender cubes, that would be nice. Uh, black pearls. Although they've handed out a lot of black pearls lately. Very happy about that. Put books. Uh, skip tickets, can always use that. Slabs, antlers, and pull tickets, yeah. Okay, next asks about like what do you like on the uh, Twitter account? What uh, content there? Let's see, I'll click uh, info on the new chapter, info on new characters, new costumes. Uh, let's see, character and companion stuff, character design. Yeah, we'll put the uh, the design things. The uh, status introductions, I don't really think those are necessary. I won't click that. Chapter image art, I like that. Uh, the uh, the present campaigns, they do that every near day, I like that. Okay, then it asks, in the um, live streams, what would you like to see in the future? I said, it's fine as it is. I hope they invite more uh, voice actors. And then uh, question 57, they ask, uh, what would you like to see in future updates? I put uh, being able to arrange costumes and then uh, being able to hear those uh, lines again in the uh, Recollections of Dusk. If you don't record them the one time, you never get to hear them again. <laughs> and then question 58, uh, they ask, uh, what kind of campaigns or promotions would you like to see in the future? Um, I put... Uh, like A2, for example, or like other characters from uh, established collaborations getting more costumes. I think people are asking for like, you know, a uh, swimsuit, uh, 2B or whatever. That would be cool to get. And then it says, if you have any other comments, uh, leave them below. I say this is a wonderful game. Thank you. And then uh, I hope you uh, work hard on global as well. <laughs> okay, that was the questionnaire. Let's see if it comes to global as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.